Over 6,000 prized works of art are joining the collections of the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. In a small exhibition on the main floor, visitors have a taste of what is about to be added in a show titled American Masterworks from the Corcoran. In recent years, the Corcoran, another museum in Washington that was privately funded, struggled with financial issues and eventually closed. Now the National Gallery is acquiring some of the works, bringing another dimension to the entire collection. A transformative, I think, is the operational word and the most accurate one, really. It raises the entire level of our holdings in, in all areas, but particularly American. Works added to the National Gallery range from this 1860 portrait of a young Abraham Lincoln to this 1939 painting by Edward Hopper titled Groundswell. From wealthy society matrons immortalized by John Singer Sargent to longshoremen in the 1870s on the docks of New York. We sort of have a slice of American life down at the docks, people of different races, perhaps some recent immigrants who are there working together. And, but it's not just a lunchtime. These men are actually engaged in conversation. There's some storytelling going on. Another prized work that comes to the National Gallery is Frederick Edwin Church's Niagara, one of the great painted views of an iconic American landscape. And Church did a number of things. He took away the all foreground, so you're suspended as if you're right there about to <laughs> fall in the water. And then he does the minute, close up, the water and all of its sort of frenzy as it's going over the rocks and going through so that you can see it in detail and in, in its vastness. In all 29 paintings and two sculptures, each an American masterwork from the Corcoran, are on exhibit through early spring before permanently joining the collections of the National Gallery of Art. Tom Ritchie, Associated Press.